Hello, this is Scan. This is the tutorial to upgrade the Leo G4. And uh, first of all, you have to uh, start up the uh, upgrade program, the RK Batch 2.exe in Windows. And here is the interface. And then you have to load the uh, firmware image from what you have downloaded. For dongle, it will be G4 dongle 4.1.1 image you load it and then loading firmware finish means it's okay and then we start connecting the device uh, many users are confused about how to connect let me show you how uh, you have to first of all you have to locate the recover button which is here there is a recover button you have to push and hold it with something you will hear a click sound and then you connect to the power connect to the power you hold it and then you connect to the power when you did it successfully you will see a green uh, rectangular green rectangle here means it's okay and uh, ready to fetch but if you're first time connecting the device to the computer it will ask you for the driver and then uh, here is the driver you can see it's a RK30 device driver and we have provided the driver in the package let me show you the driver my window is 64 bit so I'm using the AMD 64 drivers folder inside and uh, this is the driver I used for Win7 in the 64 folder. X86 means 32 bit. And uh, let me let us go back to the two. Because just now I have already loaded the image, so I can uh, we we use the restore mode when we upgrade from 4.0 to 4.1. 4.0 to 4.1 so we press the restore button the process will start you can see the yellow square flashing is uh, formatting the device the pro yeah, make sure it's still connected and then if download the firmware You don't have to connect to a TV to do this. What you have to do is to press and hold the recover button and then you connect the power to the computer. Connect to the OTG port. Windows will find the device and then you just have to install the proper driver and you uh, start up the batch tool. The rest is quite easy. You just need to load the image and then you just press the restore. This process will take some time, so we wait here until it finished. is checking the firmware the restore is done and then it says success one time fail zero and it takes you can see about two minutes to for the whole process and then after the success the upgrade we just need to exit the program and then unplug unplug the unplug the power and you're good to go thank you for watching